Hello. Welcome to this very special session that I have for you. Today I'm going to set the intention that we connect with lineage and our ancestors and that I might be able to help facilitate that flow for you through crystals, light language, and energy healing. And before we move on, I just want to remind you that ancestors and lineage can definitely mean from this current lifetime and the generations that have come before you in this current lifetime. But it also means our lineage from different planets, different systems, our star seed lineage, those ancestors, those generations, and generations from past lifetime. So just be open to whatever message that wants to come through to you for today. And these messages might come through general feelings within the body, omens, signs, signals. You might get something during dream time. So just make sure that you are paying attention. I have my little crystal skull here. I have many, but a lot of them are in a personal grid that I have going. So I brought this guy with me and skulls are just so, so great to help us connect with ancestors and lineage and generations that have come before. So we'll be right over here. It is my intention here today to help you open up the doorway and come into the flow the readiness, the openness to receive messages from generations past, from your lineage, from this planet, to other planets, other dimensions, other solar systems. And we invite these ancestors, these lineage lines to communicate with us, but we only invite those of highest enlightenment and those who are holding our greatest and highest good in their hearts, in their minds, in their top priority. And if you are willing to receive this healing message of light language, crystal healing, energy balancing, just say yes. And thank you for the healing that we are about to receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Let's begin to remove any resistance or negative thought patterning or programming that you have around connecting with past on loved ones, generations, lineages. We can carry a lot of that around. That it might be a scary thing, possibly even an evil thing. Let's just remove that. So if you are willing to let that go, just say that I am willing to let go of any previous programming, thought patternings around connecting with ancestors, generations, and lineages. And with a deep exhalation, just see all those fears floating away. And 
I ask that those spaces be filled with brilliant white, silver and gold and healing light. stone that I have here today is gothite and it's beautiful in its own little way but it's really good at helping us connect with our ancestral lines and clearing those lines of anything that just no longer serves us any generational patterns that we're ready to remove or break, this can help us do that. So again, just helping us clear away things that need to be cleared. And I'll get really deep in the heart shock. Clearing all that ancestral generational patterning from the heart chakra now. You are free and clear. Filling those spaces up with beautiful golden white light healing energy. We're clearing. And the next and final stone I'll be using here today is ancestral light. So very grounding and once again can help us connect into our ancestral past and our lineages. I'm going to call upon some light language again to help open that channel, facilitate healing, um, and just be open. Just listen with your heart and not your mind. Your soul will recognize the words. Your DNA will absorb this light language. 
again, just to help open and facilitate that channel to hear our ancestors and our lineage message to us, whether it comes in this moment or tonight in your dream space or in, you know, signs, signals, synchronicities. Pay attention. So, horne, chete ele, so orsh Koshete ke ele su oshata se chele eke oshoke nele che orna o karna kurni chitete kurna che kurne che e se che ele kurne chito orna che kere de chite ke ele su orni chiti ele ko ashite alne che u chiti ila shata alna Shu orni kit ele te orne chit arla ko orna shu u su chiti chiti u nele ne ju orne la kalle ne ju u su chata arla shu u kole she teke lo shu tu u shalana ko she su u she ne kele. Breathe. It's quite powerful. So she ne che de ko orne che le ta kala ta se che orne che di se che orne che kala na da ta so she te ke che te kala na cha. Some of you are gonna receive very specific. Some of you are gonna receive generation and lineage information from Atlantis to help you in this current life. Um, so that's just for some of you. Ko shu to karne chi teke. Shi le na a shi he che. So chu te si chi teke. Or na cha ka le shi teke. No or ne. Grandmothers, wisdom keepers are going to come forward for some of you as well. Uh, like I'm seeing like very prominent people in the family who were wisdom keepers but maybe couldn't speak their truth in their lifetime. They'll have a message for you. Sushini sha arno ko sa cha na sha ta. Oh, and a few of you will receive messages from your extra dimensional lineage if you're ready for that. Ko sha ta karne chite kile sha ta orne se chite ko o sha ta le me she se chite ki o sha la sha ta ka orna se cho o so ko se chite. Se chi orna su chi ti si e orrono sha ta ta karna chi teke su chi ko se chi ne a se chi. So just take a few big breaths. That was a lot of healing that came through. Drink some water, get grounded if you have to. Allow the heart space to be open.
and just do a little bit more smudging to clear the energies after that session. I hope you enjoyed it. That light language was quite powerful. Thank you so much for being here with me today for this light language session, healing session, ancestral connection session. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Namaste.